What's going on everybody, Ryan Pineda here, and if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. On this channel we talk about all things business, entrepreneurship, real estate, you name it, we're talking about it. And today we are talking about a very interesting entrepreneur that is very much loved, very much hated. I don't think you can be in between on this guy. And that person is Ty Lopez. Full disclosure, I have bought Ty's products and so I have a very good opinion on what I think of him as a coach, as a guru, as an entrepreneur, as a marketer, as a businessman, and I'm gonna give you all of those thoughts coming up. So let me give you the rundown of how I even heard of Ty Lopez. The first time I heard about him was back in 2018. I was at Grant Cardone's 10X GrowthCon conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is where I am from. I honestly never heard of him before that. Hmm. Looking back at it, everyone at the conference was talking about him, everyone had been familiar with him for the most part, and I was kind of the odd man out. So when he came on stage, I still really had no idea, but the crowd was going nuts, they loved this guy. With the crowd going nuts, I didn't really know what to expect. I figured he was pretty popular and I was not disappointed. For those of you who don't know, at Grant Cardone's 10X Growth Con, pretty much every presenter has a sales pitch at the very end. You don't really realize you're being pitched on something else. That's kind of all GrowthCon is. And it's not bad. There's a lot of value at GrowthCon. There's a lot of things to learn, but just realize you're gonna get sales pitch something else at the very end. Before the 10X GrowthCon, I had never ever bought any guru program or course. That was until I heard Russell Brunson's pitch right before Ty. And I'm actually gonna do a video on Russell Brunson's program, so make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you can see that one as well. But Russell convinced me that, hey, it is worthwhile to invest in yourself. It is worth it to buy these guru courses. So he kind of set me up for Ty. I had already paid money for Russell's. I saw Ty's right after, and Ty's performance was captivating. Wow! I honestly can't even remember what it was about. It was a few years ago, but I do remember that he was analyzing other people's websites. People were yelling it out of the crowd, and he was analyzing them right there on stage. He was giving why he thought certain websites were really good, why certain were really bad, what they could do better to be optimizing their website so they could get more sales. He was also talking about the different companies he had, how much revenue those companies were making, and all these different niches and spaces. So I was super impressed. This is an entrepreneur who is succeeding in multiple different industries, all with one theme. He's doing very good at online marketing. And I was a believer after his performance that, hey, this dude is the guy if you want to go into online marketing. And he pitched his course and I said, take my money. Once again, I was never the guy at that point to go drop money on courses. I was always skeptical of anyone that was trying to sell me anything. Today, I'm much different. I spend tens of thousands of dollars every single year on self-improvement, self-development, hiring coaches, hiring gurus, whatever you wanna call it. I know the value is there. But picking the right one is always the hard part. There are a lot of terrible people and scammers out there and they give the whole industry a bad name. And Ty Lopez is one of those guys who gets that reputation. All I can say is initially off the bat, I'd never heard of the guy and he gave such a captivating one hour presentation that I paid him $3,000 for his program. I can't remember if it was 3,000 exactly, but it was something around that ballpark. Now, after I bought his program, I actually went home and researched him, which is odd, right? I already gave this guy money, yet now I'm researching him after I gave him money. That's how good his performance was. So I researched him and saw his infamous in his garage with his Lamborghinis and his books video. I didn't realize he was that famous. And I remember him talking about on stage how how he had been one of the first guys to do these YouTube ads. He literally bought his way into fame. He bought so many YouTube ads and that video got so many clicks that he was able to continue to buy more YouTube ads while they were super cheap and no one else was doing it. To me, that alone tells you this dude is smart, man. He saw an inefficiency in marketing and capitalized on it. People weren't on YouTube ads like they are today and you may have even seen my own YouTube ad. If I was on YouTube ads five years ago when he was first starting, I'd have made a lot more money. So I applaud him for that. He saw an inefficiency and took advantage. Now, I also did some other research about him. I signed up for his mentor box company. I was a part of it for a little bit, but you know, overall I just felt like I would rather read the full book in detail anyway. I didn't want the cliff notes of certain books, but I thought the concept was super cool and it's awesome to see that he's having a lot of success with that. Upon researching him, the other thing that I noticed was 
he was selling education in pretty much everything. And what he was doing is really smart. He was just partnering with multiple experts in those industries and selling education in those industries. I mean, the dude is selling a real estate course. He is not a real estate investor. I'm a much better real estate investor than Ty Lopez. I guarantee he sold more real estate courses than I have because he's a much better marketer than me. So there are things to learn from him. I can sit there and get mad and say, Ty Lopez is a fool. He don't know what he's talking about. He's not a real estate guy, yet he sells all these products. But that's stupid. Why don't I just learn from the guy and say, okay, this dude, he's a pretty smart marketer. This dude knows what he's doing with ads. So that was what I learned after buying his course that, hey, this guy is selling a lot of different education in a lot of different spaces. He's buying a lot of ads. They're very captivating. They're converting into revenue. He's starting multiple companies. He's doing big things in revenue. And then of course he has this big giant house in Beverly Hills or something like that. Which by the way was part of his sales pitch and probably the cherry on top that made me do it. Essentially the program that I bought was an eight week program where everyone went into this private Facebook group just for that session. And once a week he would come on Facebook Live for two hours. He would do a teaching with him and his little whiteboard thing. And then he would answer questions, talk about marketing, different ways you can start an online business. And and then at the very end, he allowed every single person to come to his house, kind of to celebrate, to network, to meet him, to do some social media stuff, and then of course to be upsold into the next program. Now, I gotta say, the eight weeks in the program were pretty good. I was impressed with the things he was teaching. He may not seem genuine in his videos and all his ads, but I thought he was pretty genuine just based on what I was seeing with his teachings and the questions he was answering and his evaluation of websites and different things. I definitely learned a good bit about online marketing and online businesses. And I think a lot of that did play a role in my current businesses. Not all my businesses are online. I flip houses for a living. That's a very physical thing in a location. I also have a real estate brokerage, which is another physical thing in a physical location. But a lot of the things I do in my online coaching program and in my online course and even my book, I've gotten many of those influences from going through ties. I've also got a CPA for that is pretty much all virtual. We help clients all over the country. Once again, seeing the power of an online business influenced me to do certain businesses that type of way. So overall, the eight weeks by themselves, they were worthwhile. I've made far more than the $3,000 that I put into this program. The value was certainly there. I actually didn't get a chance to go to his house. There was another seminar that was on the same weekend that we were supposed to go to his house, and so I had to pick and choose which one I wanted to go to. I chose the other one. People from Ty's team said, yeah, you can keep the ticket and still go to his house at another point when he does it again. But to this day, two years later, I still have not gone to his house. I don't even know if my ticket would still work. Work. <laughs> I honestly don't really care one way or the other, but that is a great selling point. And in my events and in my mentorship program, I've allowed people to come to my house too. Students and people love it. I think it's a great idea from Ty. So overall, after being a paying customer of Ty Lopez, what do I think of the guy? I've learned quite a bit from him. I've learned that, hey, the front page on your website better be really good. Don't make it confusing. Make it very clear what you do. Make it very friendly. There's a lot of things I've learned about just the initial first impression of your website and the product you are selling. I've learned the value of making really good captivating ads, ads that get people to click to try and buy your product or find out more about your product. I've learned the value of an online business, much easier to scale an online business than it is a physical business. And I think with this pandemic, people are seeing the value of an online business. So if you are interested in buying one of Ty's programs, would I endorse it? It's hard for me to say. I bought that one two years ago. I don't even know what he's selling today. Would I buy his real estate course? Absolutely not. I would say buy my course. I would buy a course where there is somebody who's active that you follow on social media for that specific niche. So if it's real estate and you follow me or you follow someone else who's really doing it, you should buy their product because they actually do it. They're in the trenches, getting it done today because things are always changing. So you want someone who's active. Ty Lopez is not actively flipping or wholesaling real estate. So no, I would not buy that product. Would I buy Ty Lopez's product about online marketing and advertising? Absolutely. I mean, the dude is a beast at it. If I wanted to learn to go do Facebook ads and online marketing, I'm definitely gonna go to that guy. As I said, I don't know what he's selling today, but just make sure with any course you buy, whether it's his, whether it's mine, whether it's someone else's, make sure they're an expert in whatever that industry is and they're still actively doing it. If Ty Lopez stopped doing online ads, then I would I definitely wouldn't buy his product on online ads. If I stop flipping houses and investing in real estate, you should not buy my product on house flipping and real estate. That's my opinion on the matter for any type of guru course or coaching. 
So I hope that clears up some questions for you guys. If you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the little bell notification button. As I said previously, I'm gonna do a video on Russell Brunson's course, what I thought about it. If you missed out, I actually did a video on what I thought about Grant Cardone's programs, which I've spent a ton of money on. You can catch that video by clicking right above me. And if you don't already, please make sure you follow me on all my socials. I'm active daily on there. You can see the day-to-day -day life of being an entrepreneur and real estate investor. And overall, if you haven't even subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Make sure you hit the subscribe button too. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Take care.